Welcome to the homework for Lesson 37. It's Grade 1, Module 1. Write your name first. We're making five group drawings and solving. We've done ones like this before. And just to give you an example, don't draw this box, but I just want to show you. Here's number one, and we're going to do it in this space here. Don't You don't need to draw that box. But I'm going to use this first number sentence to write a related subtraction. You can tell it's subtraction because there's another minus sign right there. <clears throat> so we start with 9 and we're going to cross out 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right, and these are colored in. I'm going to cross out two and what's left. These three here and these four. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven left. And we also know that if we had crossed out the seven, you have, oops, we have these two left. All right, I'm going to erase this little box here just so you can see what we're working with. Okay, so that's what yours should look like. Now the next one, we're going to start with nine and cross out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and across out eight. That's almost all of them right there. And one left. <clears throat> if I take, if I start with nine and I cross out one, then I'll have eight left. And then for number three, we have, so here's the other picture. Like in the example here, it shows both pictures. I'm going to draw both of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I cross out one, I'll have the other eight left. Nine minus four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, and if I cross out 4, you can see I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 left. Now drawing these pictures, I know maybe you can count your fingers or count it up in your head, or maybe you already know 9 minus 4 is 5, uh, but drawing the pictures is still important to do because drawing the pictures shows your math thinking, and there's going to be a time very soon where you're going to have to solve and then explain your solution or show your work, show how you got it. And it's really a lot easier to draw a picture like this <clears throat> to show how you figured it out than it is to try and write like five or six sentences that describe all the steps you made in your head to do it. And you can't just write, I just knew it, because that's that doesn't say... It doesn't say what you know about subtraction. We start with the same 9, and we subtract 5 instead, and we'll have 4. 5 instead, and we'll have 4 left. So practicing drawing these pictures, even if you don't need them to make the solutions, you should still practice drawing them because they're, when you have a question that says explain or show your work, that's how you do it. So if you don't practice drawing the pictures, you're not going to be able to do that. 9 minus 7, so that's starting with a total of 9, and what one of the parts is 7, the other is going to be two because it's eight nine we need two more and if you can draw this if you want one you don't have to make these drawings for these problems because it doesn't say you have to five 
6, 7, 8, 9. And I've crossed out 7. I'll have, that's 5 and 2, right? 7. I'll have 2 left. And the uh, related subtraction sentence, if I start with 9 and subtract the 2, I'll have 7 left. If I start with 9 and I don't cross out any, I'll have 9 left. And the other way of looking at it is if I have 9 and I subtract the 9 instead of the 0, then I'm going to have the other part, the 0, left. That's the related subtraction sentence. I start with 9, and I subtract how many? I'm going to have 6 left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to have 6 left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I have 6, there's going to be 6 and 3. So <clears throat> if I cross out 3, I'll have 6 left. Or if I cross out 6, I'll have 3 left, which is really what I did there. All right. Down here, if we start with 9, how many do we cross out? if we have only one left. You might want to draw a picture for this one. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. All right, so I'm going to cross out everything and just have one left over. Uh, how many did I have to cross out? This five group here, five, six, seven, eight. I had to cross out eight. So if I start with nine, oh, and that's an eight. If I cross out nine, if I have nine and I cross out one, I mean to say, then I'll have eight left. <coughs> and here we have our subtraction symbol here. So this is what we start with before we subtract 9. This is how much we subtract 5. So what's going to be left after we subtract? Even though this is the first thing on the left, it's really it's still what's left after we subtract. So you could draw a picture of it too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, because we have nine before we subtract, and we're going to subtract this five group here. That means we're going to have four left. So four is the other part. Nine, and we could just write nine minus four equals five would be the other one. Or if you want to be fancy about it, you could write it backwards like the first one they had here and write five equals 9 minus 4. <clears throat> then we have another page. Bonus! Use five group drawings to help you complete the number bond, match the number bond to the related subtraction sentence, and write the other related subtraction number sentences. Just what we've been doing. It just looks different on another page. So this time 9 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to cross out eight. How many are left? One. And this is going to be a match because you can see right here, this is not the one that's going to match. This is nine minus five, and we just did nine minus eight. <coughs> so let's look at this next one here. I'm going to have, here, I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole page at once. Now, these pictures are going to be really tiny, uh, especially if you're looking at this on a phone or an eye touch. So you can see what's going to happen here. So we have one, two, three, four, five number sentences, one, two, three, four, five number bonds, 
And so we're going to solve the number bonds and then I'm just going to zoom in on the number bonds. We're going to solve the number bonds first. And then I'll zoom back out and we'll match them to the number sentences. So this is 9 with a part of 7. So we can do 9 with 7 crossed out. And it says right here, we, we're, we're drawing. Use five group drawings. We have to do the five group drawings. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to cross out 7. I have 2 left. This one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm going to cross that out and have three left. I need to cross out five and one more. That's six. This is nine with five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cross out five. There's four left. And the one on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cross out nine and there's zero left. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom up back in and we can see where these match up and then I'll come back and finish all the number sentences. So here we have 9 crossed out 8 and had 1 left. That's going to go with the 9 minus 1 because right? we have a 9 with a part of 1. It's going to match up with that one there. This is 9 with 7 and 2. So which one of these number sentences has a 2 or a 7 in it? There we go. These are all subtracting from 9 with menu ends of 9. 9 with a 6 and a 3. So which one of these number sentences has a 6 or a 3? This has subtracting 6. And that leaves this guy right here. And now we can match these and we can finish these number sentences. 9 minus 5. Did we have that? Oh, that was this one here. I skipped that one. There's the 9 minus 5. And we already solved it. It's 4. And this 9 minus 1 we figured out was 8. This 9 minus 2 we figured out was 7. This 9 minus 6 we figured out was 3. And this 9 minus... 9 is 0. And now we'll write the related subtraction sentences. We'll come back to this part. So the related subtraction sentence for 9 minus 5 would be 9 minus 4 equals 5. And for 9 minus 1 equals 8, it's going to be 9 minus 8 equals 1. So when we're switching the Sotrahend and the difference Right. We're switching the number we subtract, that's the subtrahend. We're switching that with the difference. But you always have to start with the 9. You always have to have the same number before you subtract, because it's still the same number before you subtract. You can't get bigger. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus... 3 is 6. Right, if you look at that number bond right here, if I take away the 6, then I'll have the 3 left. If I take away the 3, I'll have the 6 left. That's the related subtraction sentence. And this one at the end, if I have 9, I take away all 9, I'll have 0 left. But if I have 9 and I take away the 0, I'll have all 9 left. And that's what the whole thing looks like all at once. Oops.